So this guy here is a pin spot. To be specific, it's the American DJ pin spot LED. And at first glance, it's nothing special. However, you can do some really cool things with this tiny little light. Let's take a closer look. You can sum up the ADJ pin spot in three words, compact, bright, and affordable. This light is really small, making it easy to rig pretty much anywhere. And it's very bright. The source of that bright output comes from a single three watt white LED. Doesn't sound like much, but you get a surprising amount of light with the lower power consumption of LED. Finally, it's affordable. You could put together a small system of these lights without spending too much money. In the box, you get two different lenses. So you can switch between a six degree beam angle and a 12 degree beam angle. The only thing I don't really like about this pin spot is the way you change lenses. You have to remove a metal ring holding the glass in place and it's just really fiddly to do. A DJ also gives you a small pre-cut orange gel. The gel is used to color the light. So if you don't want the cool white the LED produces, you can use the gel to warm up the color of your pin spot. So what can you use a pin spot for? Well, these guys are known for being used with mirror balls. You can point this guy straight at your mirror ball and shine the light all across the room. Though what I like using pin spots for is accenting objects in the venue. It's an additional service that you can offer the client and make you stand out from other DJs. And because these guys are so cheap, you can easily buy a load of them to put a system together. Another great use for these lights is creating beam effects. Mount a load of them on your truss, point them all in different directions, and just add smoke. You can achieve a really nice look with the beams shooting all over the room. You're limited by the fact you only have on-off control and can't move them, but sometimes quantity is better than quality. You could get the ADJ event bar, which has four lights and a ton more features including full DMX control, or you could get 14 of these guys. Which one's gonna create more impacts in your venue? Well, I'll leave that choice up to you. But if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.